My name is Peter Kachenko, and I'm the Director of Operations here at Third Sun Solar. We install residential, commercial, and industrial solar systems. Um, so basically we mount solar panels on roofs, um, we create energy, and we allow customers to create their own energy and put it back into the utility grid. Well, solar is a growing industry in Ohio, so we have anywhere from 6 to 15 installers, um, some being real small companies, some being real big companies. Um, so it, the, there's a lot of electricians out there, there's a lot of laborers out there who can do the installs, um, but there's not a lot of energy analysts who understand power usage and understand the financials to actually sell the systems. It's one of our biggest challenges is not physically installing the systems, it's coming up with a package that financially works for the customer that, uh, that makes them purchase the systems. So, so we need more educated salesmen, we need more educated um, energy analysts to, to be able to build these packages and, and design these systems to financially make sense. They would have to have a good understanding of math, um, a good understanding of energy and power and how, how energy and electricity works. Um, so it's real crucial to understand power usage and what, what power means. Um, so there's a lot of math involved, a lot of financial numbers involved. There are, there are expensive systems, so the, we need to um, uh, estimate what the systems are going to produce and come up with a payback um, so, that, so that it financially makes sense and, and we need to be able to make a model um, that there's a financial payback in installing solar. One of the major responsibilities is we need to get it right. We need to make sure that we, we plan for production. So um, solar is based on a lot of variables on production, so we have to analyze um, how much power we think the system will produce within a year. Um, and we have to take into account that we're going to have sunny days, we're going to have cloudy days, and we have to, to take an average estimate of how much power um, these solar systems are going to produce and then compare that to how much energy the, the homeowner or business owner uses and make sure that those equations meet each other or match each other. I enjoy seeing customers meters spin backward so when we fully install a system and it starts cranking out energy and their meter spins backwards so they're selling power to the utility instead of buying power. Um, that's kind of the big, uh, big thing at the end of the day that makes you smile. Um, and I like seeing customers' utility bills. We get a lot of utility bills. They email them in and they, they have a $1 utility bill or a zero utility bill. Um, so those are the good parts. Um, some of the parts that aren't as interesting are sitting down crunching the numbers sometimes. Um, you know, there's a lot of computer time, a lot of financial, you know, reviewing numbers, um, trying to make things work for customers financially. Um, so that part could be the less exciting uh, part of things. Accounting and science, I think, would be the two major uh, courses. Um, but I would definitely look into accounting, learning how to use Excel, um, learning how to use math programs. Um, kind of all those math equations that I thought I'd never use in high school, I use them pretty regularly um, in the industry here. Um, energy is complicated because it's, it's power and it's, it's, it's power over time, which makes it complicated. It's not just a flat equation. Um, so you need to have a, a thorough understanding of, of how power is created over time and, and what that, uh, how that equates to usage and need. Because um, at the bottom, at the end of the day, energy is, is dollars, and all the market's driven by money, and everybody wants to save money, or we need to come up with cheaper solutions for energy. Um, so you need to have a, a good understanding of financing and how financing works with with the energy market. Knowing how to, to build math formulas and knowing how to put um, put numbers and packages and finances together would help a ton. So if you could get the you know, do anything in the accounting world, in the personal finance world, um, take courses in personal finance, um, shadow an accountant, things like that would help. Sharpen your pencil. Be, be smart. Uh, study a lot. Know your formulas. Know what you're talking about. Um, the biggest mistake people can make is overestimating uh, production or, or making your costs too, too cheap or too expensive. Um, both can be, if, if you analyze something being cheaper than it really is, you're, you're putting out a false, a false concept out there. People um, become disappointed and then turns them off. And on the other end, if it's too expensive, nobody will go for it. Um, and you won't make any sales or you won't move the industry in the direction you want it to. So my advice would be to keep a sharp pencil, you know, try to get your numbers as tight as possible and, and pay attention.